Hello everyone, I'm Magdalena and I'm from Poland but I currently live in England. So after all day driving and exploring, we finally arrive at the apple farm. And what can I say, it was truly like moving back in time. From the very first moment, I almost felt like on my grandma's farm, where my twin sister and I spent a lot of our childhood days. Our grandma, being alone and busy on the farm, didn't pay so much attention to what we, little twins, were really doing. And now I think this freedom our grandma gave us as an adult, by not planning our day with tons of activities, was the best thing she could ever give us. And even though it wasn't intentional from her, it eventually turned out to be the best time of our childhood and the most magical time. So thank you, Grandma, because of all that, I just feel you were the best Grandma we could ever ask for. There was this one time in our childhood which I remember so well and I really wanted to share this story with you. So, together with my sister, we wanted to stay longer on the farm, but unfortunately we had no more clean clothes. And our grandma said if we wanted to stay, we had to take a big bowl of water and wash it with the soap, as she didn't have any washing machine back then. So, I had the idea to put the line for the wet clothes from the main house to the animal's basement. This way we stayed on my grandma's farm till the end of the summer, learning every day how to take care of ourselves and becoming more and more independent in our life. Eventually, our grandma led us to take care of animals too, which was a bit scary to start with, but still magical in the same time. It might sound silly, but it was truly a magical moment in my life. For the first time I had that feeling when I strongly felt my independence and I was only about six years old. I will never forget this uh, pure happiness and joy when deciding for yourself, doing something for yourself and actually taking care of yourself.
are going to pick not all of them but some for breakfast for tomorrow and then I'm going to put my feet in the water in a minute Marcin brought me wild garlic to try Looks delicious. And it is. So we are here on the leaf farm. I'm cooking some Chinese today. When I lived with some Chinese students, when I used to come to England for holiday. They showed me this very quick meal which includes some potatoes. They you cut them as fries, they did anyway. So potatoes and whatever you have really, like they sometimes added some pepper, sometimes onion, obviously some ginger and garlic. You don't have to put tofu if you don't want to, but I like it and this one is quite nice and marinated. Uh, I put some sprouts I made earlier and some wild garlic we picked up from the forest behind the house. So yeah, that's the Chinese I learned from, directly from Chinese people. Okay, let me take you to the main gardens of Apple Farm, surrounded by endless forests and the green fields. I must say that being on the farm was almost like a reminder to not forget my joyful self. This child inside of me, who was always curious and full of ideas, Me, who used to wake up in the mornings on the farm and literally couldn't wait for the day to start, as there were so many things to look forward to and explore. I truly started to feel this way every day on the farm, and yes, this reminder is sometimes very needed when we are grown-ups, when we are adults,
it's also a reminder of not planning the day already but just maybe waiting what the next hour could bring I'm so grateful that my sister and I had a chance to experience this curiosity on the farm from the very very early age as our day was never really planned heard a sentence from Giulia who inspires me a lot uh, dolce far niente which means from Italian the sweetness of doing nothing and I must say this really resonated with me it basically represents the power of moments in life which we don't really feel with any plans conversations actions or even thoughts the moments when we can actually fully rest and just simply feel the joy of life without needing to think about it too much or analyze it. Because sometimes all we need to do in our life to invite new things is to pause, to do nothing for a longer period of time so it creates a space for the new and let the old advices in our head to go quiet so we can do things differently this time. I think it brings a huge potential to make a great changes in our life. We finally stop trying to open the doors with the keys which simply don't fit anymore. So what can I say, I'll try to do nothing more often. Goodbye for now and I will see you in my next video which will be about traveling outside of the farm. So have a nice day and thank you for watching. Oh, and I almost forgot to wish you a lot of sweetness of doing nothing.